Hello everyone and welcome back to the 139th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. Now for those of you that are new here, this is a series where I take a look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam, analyze each one of the creations, discover their features and test them out in Stormworks. Before we get started, if you are enjoying my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe button. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts of the creations in the comments below. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this week's episode. And starting this week's episode off with the first creation, we have the ARM-2 Frenzy. This is a radar guided missile. Now it's got a lot of features packed into this one and apparently it can reach a Mark 1 speed. So let's go into one and see how it works. And spawning in the first creation of the episode, these missiles are of course radar guided. Now the creator has used the old ones, obviously we just got the update a few days ago uh, with these new radars, so I'd like to see these updated, I'm sure the creator will update them with the new ones, um, but pretty much what these do is you can use them against aircraft and you can either fire them from aircraft or you can fire them from the ground which is pretty cool you can kind of use this as a like a base defensive now having a look at them uh you can see here we've got it looks like a bunch of fins here on the front along with a lot of rocket boosters the old radars and then also we have the computer targeting uh, mic controller here at the back now the cool thing about these is they do use hardpoint connectors but apparently you don't need to use any additional computers or things like that you can just literally put it onto another hardpoint press the fire button and they should work now these will go and fire line of sight start with uh, and then they use a little bit of really cool systems so the cool system it uses is it uses a epn which is an extended proportional navigation system uh, that the creator says and what it does instead of it just firing and trying to hit the creation on where it knows it is it tries to lead it a little bit so it will put itself in a collision course for the target so let's imagine we have a, a jet flying along from right to left it the missile will actually aim itself a little bit further left to try and specifically hit it on a collision course, which is a cool little feature. Now, along with this, it does uh, work with another pylon system or like management system from far as I'm correct. I haven't used it before, so I'm not too sure. And the crazy doesn't have any links to it, but apparently uses a PHS uh, pylon system, which I'm guessing is just uh, something the creator is using. So yeah, uh, cool missiles. I like to see them upgraded uh, with the new radar pieces. Definitely think that'll be pretty cool. That's it, let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Subnautica Seamoth. Now this is apparently meant to be a replica of the Seamoth from the so game Subnautica. Now it's got a whole bunch of features on there, uh, which looks really cool. You can actually dock this uh, with another one of the creator's creations. Uh, we've got depth head, we've got ballast and a whole bunch of other screens on it. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, nice looking little sub, I like it, it's very small, very compact. Yeah, looks really good. So it looks like we got a little, a little a propeller here at the underneath, uh, some control surfaces. Okay, and I'm guessing a propeller, yeah, a propeller there facing backwards too. Looks like we got recharging and this thing can actually be docked uh, to another creation I think we're going to be looking at later on in the episode, which is quite nice. Uh, let's go and jump on here, what do we have at the top? So we've got hatch, guessing it's just opening and closing the hatch. Okay, let's open it again. Let's get inside. Now apparently it should close automatically, it does. Okay, we've got an exit button, we've got docking, we've got release docking arms, we've got two info screens and looks like a little heads up display here, maybe a speed and things. Okay, we've got ballast in, ballast out, we've got lights, open doors, depth hold and upwards boost. Okay, let's go forwards. Okay, nice. Obviously we're above the water, so it doesn't really help. And then you can use this to go and dive and things. Okay, nice. You can see there how I'm diving. It's pretty cool. Uh, can we do depth hold, which is five. Okay, so now it's just going to hold this depth and we don't really have to do anything. It's very quick in turning. Really very simple to use actually. You can see what I'm guessing would be our depth. 500, I'm not too sure what the 500 is meant to be. You can see we're stopping, and then of course we should probably rise, I'm guessing. But we could use the ballast system, so we could ballast one. And yeah, we're sinking now. And turn that off. Ooh. 
very easy, very simple little creation. I like it. Nice. We're definitely going to have a look at the creator's bigger ship where this is meant to dock at later on. So I'm excited to see how that works and then obviously how this would integrate into it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Six upwards boost. Okay, so you can actually boost yourself upwards, which kind of flipped us. <laughs> but uh, I'm guessing if you were driving and then you were using six, yeah, that would just be, whoa. Yeah, it just boosts underneath it there, which flipped us a little. I know, but we're going to be fine. I think we can just use it again. Flip us up. Yep, there we go. Cool. Very nice. Take depth hold off. So a lovely, cool, very interesting little creation. I like it. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the HO2 Speed Rescue Boat. Uh, so a nice little fast rescue boat, apparently. Uh, quite a lot of features in there, including transponder, locator, radars, maps, night vision, medical beds, and all kinds of cool things in there. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the boat, really nice looking, definitely does look fast. You can see it looks like we've got a bunch of our navigation lights, radars, spotlights there at the front. Some hatches on the side and some rope anchors for maybe tying it down a port. We've got some water jets, so it's definitely going to be fast then. And uh, looks like just some general detailing. Okay, let's jump on this. So we've got refuel, backup battery, water pump. Okay, so a few things in there could be useful. Uh, we've got a rescue room. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so it looks like I'm guessing fuel here. Uh, you've got all your things that you would need. Medical beds, equipment, and so on. Let's go and close that off. And what do we have on the side? So just some general equipment for rescue missions and things. Okay, very useful. Uh, nothing in the front here. And let's go and get inside the main compartment. Before we do that, uh, we do have some more equipment on the left and right hand side. Once again, pretty much anything you would need. Looks like we can go inside here. And the first thing we get is a seat with toggle button. Not too sure what that does. Ah, it's a little map. Okay, cool. So a nice little map screen here, up, down, left, and right, reset. Okay, very useful. Some extra seats here for passengers. We've got system shutdown. Okay, we've got some backup batteries, fuel, starter key. Oh, that's really nice. I like how they're all folded. Very cool. And then a little screen up here. Okay, so starter key. Nice. Transponder, emergency lights. We've got monitor channels. Okay, so you can just switch between different things. It looks like we've got map, radar, night vision, etc. Searchlights if we want them, which are those in the front. Okay. We've got a flare. We've got a generator if we want a generator running. Eco mode if we want it to run in eco mode. Uh, and we've got emergency lights. Let's check those out. Okay. Just some emergency lights. Let's get those off. And we've got transponder, locator. Cool. And I'm guessing the nav lights are just always on. Yeah. Starter, dashboard, reverse clutch, throttle. Okay, and this is our throttle. Okay, so 0 0.94 apparently is optimal. Get it there. If I can, 93 should be good. And then we can do 3, which is clutch. And there we go. Wow. A lot of power. I and mean, maybe we need to get the throttle out of it. Wow, that's really quick. I love the design in this in the front. I think that's the crate has done a great job. It's really quick. How what is the handle? Yeah, it's very stable actually. That's the water jets that make it turn like that. Let's do full throttle. Yeah, just just coming out of the water ever so slightly, but now it's stable. Now it's perfectly stable. Really good actually. So you can throw the generator on. Doesn't look like we lose any power with that. And then we can throw in eco mode, which does reduce it a bit, down to what, 60 something knots? Uh, but that's still pretty fast, isn't it? For little boats. And how much fuel are we using? Let's let's find out. I guess we're not using that much fuel. It is going down quite quickly, but I mean, it's not bad. In comparison to out of eco mode. Oh yeah, we're using a lot more fuel out of eco mode. and. That's pretty much about it. There's nothing else really in here, but it's just clean and simple. It does the job for if you're using this in like a career mode. I, I'd be very happy to use this in a career mode. 
can do towing missions, you could rescue people, there's enough space for pretty much everything you need, carry cargo on here. Yeah, it's pretty much got everything you would need, it's a little crate there in the background. So a nice lovely creation, really cool. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have the Mikata class lightweight combat carrier. This is of course a spaceship and a carrier, apparently top speed around 750 kilometers per an hour, uh, includes quite a lot of features actually. Uh, first thing it has cargo cranes, it has sliding decks, it has skate pods, really cool. It looks absolutely gorgeous from the workshop. So let's go and spawn it and see how it works. And spawning in the creation, man this looks very nice, beautiful amount of detailing going on there, you can see the bridge up there. There's another, apparently another bridge in here too. Really cool. I love the paint scheme. I think the creator's got quite a few of these vehicles with the same paint scheme and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So it looks like we've got an entrance hatch over there. Uh, anything at the back? Not really, just a thrust. I'm guessing those would be the thrusters or boosters. Another entrance here or cargo area here. So let's go through one of these. So all the light that's coming on automatically. Got a toggle on the toggle. So this is the big one. Maybe... Oh yeah, so this is just like a big cargo area. Okay, pretty cool. Let's get that off. Nice. Oh, we got some equipment and things. E pad, some more equipment. Another area here at the back for maybe some more cargo and things. Interesting. Okay. Got exit there. We've got maybe some lights. Yes. Got a light switch. Cool. And we've got another exit. Doesn't open. Oh, we just walk up to it. Okay, so maybe we can walk up to those ones there too. Let's go and test. Where do these ones go? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we come into this area. Don't know what this area is, but... Okay, so it looks like... Food, maybe? What's in this area? Oh, is this one of the escape pods, maybe? Or possibly quite a few escape pods. Yeah, so it looks like these are escape pods. Oh, cool. Okay, so there's quite a few of them in here. And we open the door, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, looks like we go through here. We've got, what is all this? Oh, kitchen area, I'm guessing. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go carry on this side. What else do we have? So, okay, so crew compartments. Yeah, some crew compartments. I'm guessing all the way through here. Yes. Okay, is that a light switch? Heater. Okay, heater and lights. Okay. Let's go through here. What do we have here? Two-sided door. Okay, it's so another crew compartment area. Okay, and we can carry on. Is anything underneath? No. I love the detailing. You can see you can use paint blocks all the way through here, which is beautiful. Let's get some lights on. What is this? <laughs> okay, <laughs> interesting. A uh, little door here. Where does this go? Oh, wow, this thing is huge. I'm going to get lost in here. Definitely going to get lost. <laughs> Got little screens. Where is this maybe? Front bridge area. I am so lost. Oh wait, no, this. What is this then? This looks like crane, maybe? Yeah, this looks like the crane, one of the crane operators. What's in here? Escape pods. Okay. I'm lost. <laughs> what is in here though? I guess it's just the empty area. So lost. Okay, uh, let's go up. Medical rooms. It looks like a control room of some sort. And then, ah, yes, okay. So we've got another area over here. So this is one of the bridges, if I'm correct. Activate secondary bridge. So you can jump in here, activate the bridge. Yep, and as you can see, we're in control now. Ah, okay. Cool main systems and you can turn it on and off there okay i want to get up to main deck area which is above it's cool should be a ladder or staircase no that's there <laughs> so lost over here yes there we go crotch and up we go lights on another door and that brings us on to okay so this brings us on the carrier pad Okay, where you can have your vehicles, and it looks like a bunch of rails and things for you to go and attach your vehicles. Okay, interesting. Bunch of hatches here. Some connectors and things. Cool. Let's go up into the bridge there. So, in the bridge we go. Up into the staircase, at least. Another staircase that goes down there. 
can head up into the bridge. Uh, looks like we've got just a seat with INS. Okay. We've got lights. We've got another seat with autopilot. Guessing main control seat, lower bridge active. Nav lights, throttle. And then it should be a button somewhere here for systems. There we go. Let's get all that on. Okay, bearing ETA, and that was longitude, max altitude. Okay, cool. Wow, that's pretty cool. Got fuel, RPS, little heads up display here. Wow, that's really cool. So look at that from behind, man. That looks really nice. I'm sure we haven't explored half of the things inside this. Yeah, cool. Okay, accelerate, deaccelerate, gain, lose. Trim. Okay, let's go and do gain altitude, which is three. And there we go, just like that. Wow, that was really easy, actually. So it looks like we've got some cranes here, and that would be, yeah. So these are the cranes that can work along the entire side, and there's the control room for both those cranes. Uh, we've got the escape pods, which are over here, and there should be some at the back. Yeah, there's two, those ones that we chart we saw earlier. Oh, this is really cool. Okay. Uh, looks like we got a little radar this year. Oh, it's got a little room there. What's that little room for? What is this thing out here for? Let's go and find out. So I love discovering these things. This little feature is so we got two pilot seats. Uh, done that one. Guessing it doesn't do anything. This one maybe. Done. No, don't think it does anything. I'm guessing it's just here for detailing purposes. I could be wrong. But I don't see any switches or anything. I didn't. And I mean, there's, there's screens here, so I'm not too sure. Cool. Let's go and see how this well this thing flies. So we've got accelerate, deaccelerate. Uh, yeah. Accelerate. Let's gain some altitude at the same time. Look at that. Now, a little disclosure, disclosure here. I am running on low physics, so <laughs> that's how I'm able to get this kind of performance. That's so cool. So for all you sci-fi space junkies, this is a really cool one to go play with. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Really cool. The crate's done a fantastic job. Just the silhouette of that looks gorgeous. What are the controls do we have? We got uh, transit. Okay, so we can switch our modes and things. Gain altitude, reverse. Okay, and that's pretty much all the controls we get as far as I can see. But yeah, really, really cool. I think it's a lovely creation. Definitely want to go check it out. Another beautiful creation. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the last one for the episode. And moving on to the last creation of the episode, we have the Subnautica Cyclops. Now, this is meant to be, once again, another replica of a creation from the game Subnautica, and specifically the Cyclops. Now, this looks like a really cool submarine uh, with a ton of features inside it too. Uh, so let's go and spawn in and see how it works. And spawning in the submarine, pretty nice looking. So you can see we've got like a big observation area over here in the front with um, what I'm guessing would be some HUDs and things. Got some spotlights facing forwards and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now, apparently that sub we saw earlier can actually dock underneath us, uh, which is really cool. The one thing I would maybe suggest is having these lights off by default. It does cause a little bit of lag. One thing, just get a suggestion. Uh, one thing the creator does recommend, though, is that you use infinite electricity and infinite fuel uh, if you are playing with creations. So I'll let you guys know that now. Uh, let's go and jump in it. Now, there's a hatch apparently underneath here that we can use to get in. And there we go. And we're going to go straight up and we're going to close the hatch or try to at least. Uh, okay, cool. So we're in here now. Now, this should start draining and we should only open that once this is fully drained. Don't know what would happen if we opened it beforehand. Looks like all the lights and everything are on by default inside too. Um, I'm hoping there might be an option for us to turn them off. So it is, oh, it's doing all right. We're getting around 50, 50 FPS, which is not bad at all with filled physics detail. Okay, so yep, there we go. We can open this up. We should be able to go through now. So we've got a bulkhead door, which is locked. Okay, so we actually can't get through here. I'm guessing that's the way how you would get out of the sub that you've docked in here. Uh, let's go up. So we come up here and ooh, this is pretty cool. So big control room here. Looks like we've got some screens here on the left. 
Not sure what it does. And then some things on the right to are the maybe the lights. Aha, so these are lights. Okay, that makes it much easier to format wise. Don't know what that does. Um no stats or anything for our meets, no. Okay. And then we've got our controls here. Okay, we'll check that out later on. Uh let's go through this bulkhead. Alrighty, so another bulkhead door, and then looks like this is our docking room. Yeah, docking bay. Okay, cool. Little hatch here, and then we come through to the next area. So I've got two bulkhead doors. And looks like we've got our engines, yeah, for thrusting and stuff. And we can go down, which I'm guessing would take us down to that bay room down there. Okay, cool. We can obviously close the bulkhead door if we want to, leave it open. Okay, let's see how this thing works. So, let's close this door. We've got a light off. Uh, helm, okay. So, guessing power and then depth. We've got propeller, so let's turn our propulsion system on. I'm not too sure what this is doing over here, but this would be the submarine, I'm guessing. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of things here, and I looked at these on the workshop. Now, apparently, the first one is the first one. Of First one, I can't remember what the first one does. Second one is for silent operation. Third one is for flares. Fourth one, not to, I can't remember. And then the fifth one was like a shield, which doesn't really do anything. Let's go and check on the workshop again, uh, which one does what. So the first one switches your HUD, okay, to a camera, okay. And then the third, well, fourth one, what's the fourth one do? Uh, activates the sonar which is over here okay cool let's go and turn that off let's get our engine on so turn it on we select our speed uh, let's do that one wait for it to turn on should be running any second i guess and then turn it off yep and then turn it off cool okay and that's pretty much all we need we can do ballast in ballast out horn Reverse steering and pitch. Let's do ballast in. Now I'm not too sure where you get to see. Maybe this screen over here on the left was our ballast screen. I could be wrong. I have got ballast in at the moment. Yep, and you can see it looks like there's a hatch there that's open. Maybe that one too. Yep. And we should be moving forward. We are. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go and turn. Nice. Very cool. Now, what about something like depth hold? I don't think there is. I think you just use the ballast, don't you? You can also pitch it. So you can see there how I'm pitching it up and down. Okay. Uh, let's go and grab some lights back on. So this is interior and this is exterior exterior lights back on so we can actually see and there we're moving nice don't know what the top speed of this is it's still very cool apparently this is also uh meant to be operated by three people okay so maybe there's some additional controls here at the back in the engine bay to get more speed out of this maybe not i was Maybe thinking that this went on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, it's turning. Anything here for the screen? Nope. Okay. Anything in here? No. Okay. Interesting. So another very cool and lovely creation. Definitely recommend you guys to go and check it out, especially for those Subnautica fans out there. Um, yeah, really cool. Definitely check it out, especially with a little submarine and play with the docking. I think that'll be pretty fun to see how that all works. So guys, uh, if you want to check out any of the creations that we've had a look at in this episode, I will leave them linked in the video description below as always. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. And until the next one, we'll see you then.